This is Chris with Lost in Comics, and these are my top 25 comic books of 2023, ranked from 25 to 1, beginning with... The Seasons Have Teeth. One of the most beautiful books to look at in 2023, the seasons are alive, literally. For every season of the year, there is a corresponding monster that brings with it extreme heat, cold, and beauty. A photographer loses the love of his life to disease. He's got nothing left to lose and decides to risk it all to capture each of the seasons up close and face to face. But make no mistake, this book is about love, loss, and regret. Did I mention it's stunning to look at? 24. Gotham City Year One What was Gotham like before Bruce took his vow? What secrets were hidden in the Wayne's closet? Take it back to Gotham City Year One and discover a crime tale told by Slam Bradley. This is a Gotham crime noir that you do not want to miss. At 23, Hairball a young girl is adopted by a family that doesn't seem to have her best interest at heart. Lucky for her, the family black cat Bestie is watching her back. But after the family's home burns down and a series of mysterious events unfold, the young girl wants nothing but to get far away from Bestie. This story comes full circle by the end. You want to pick this up, right? Meow. At number 22, The Ambassadors. Six of comics' greatest artists team up with Mark Miller to bring a fresh superhero comic in the Miller universe. Imagine if you could gift superpowers to only one person from every region of the world. How would that decision be made, and what would one do to have that opportunity? An essential read if you're looking to read Image Comics' biggest event of 2023, Big Game. Coming in at 21, Where Monsters Lie. Ever wonder where serial killers and monsters like Jason and Freddy go when they're not terrorizing humanity? Of course they live in a small community with other monsters of like, kind, and quality. But what happens when their community is discovered by a detective whose life was ruined by one of said monsters? Where Monsters Lie. At number 20, The Nasty. A group of young horror enthusiasts must come together to produce their own horror movie to save the local video store. With the help of one of our character's most trusted imaginary slasher friends, how hard can it be? But is he actually imaginary? This is the perfect blend of real horror history and horror fiction. Horror purists, welcome in. At 19, something epic. A young boy with a gift to see the world of imagination and creativity come to life suffers the death of his mother and with that loss loses his gift. As a man now, he must let go of all the anger and bitterness if he is to become what he was destined to be. Something epic. At 18, the Enfield Gang Massacre. That Texas Blood creative team brings us a spin-off within that Texas Blood universe. This one takes us to the past in Ambrose County. Before Billy Bob was ever born, cowboys and gangs ruled the West. But is history what it seems in Ambrose, or has it been manipulated to fit the narrative of a few? Chris Condon and Jacob Phillips do it once again in this Western that you cannot miss. 17. The Devil That Wears My Face A priest is called upon for an exorcism that becomes a body swap nightmare. What kind of havoc will Legion wreak upon the priest's body, and how badly will he destroy the father's reputation? David Pepos and Alex Cormack clicking on every comic creator cylinder. Horror fans enter. At 16, we have our first Matt Kent sighting with Spy Superb, a mystery thriller about a secret organization that's developed the perfect spy. A spy who doesn't even realize they are a spy. How does that even happen? Let's just say it takes a real tool to become the Spy Superb. Matt Kent at his finest in this spy espionage humor tale. At 15, Dark Ride. One of the most consistent and underrated horror comics of 2023, this story is about a horror theme themed park owned by a family whose dark secrets run deeper than the depths of hell. Come for the rides, stay for the family drama. At 14, Nemesis Reloaded. Like him or hate him, Mark Miller produced some of the most entertaining comics of 2023. Like him or hate him, Nemesis is one of the most ruthless villains you will ever meet in any universe. Move over Highlander, Nemesis has come to play. 
If you are enjoying this countdown, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn those bells on. We truly appreciate it. Now back to the countdown at number 13, Bone Orchard Mythos Tenement. Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino bring their unique blend of horror to a tenement with seven mysterious tenants. But as the story unravels, we find that something very horrific has been going on in this building that predates where the story began. Eerie, unsettling, mysterious, with wonderful characters throughout. At number 12, Incredible Hulk. Philip Kennedy Johnson and Nick Klein brought the Hulk back to his horror roots, and we are so grateful for it. The struggle between Bruce and Hulk is in full swing, but let's be honest, what chance does Bruce have against the most horrific monsters of Earth? The Hulk is back and better than ever. At number 11, Fish Flies. Once a year, Fish Flies swarm a small Canadian town, and with them bring a series of unexplainable events. A young girl girl who has nobody becomes friends with an unlikely criminal who is unexplainably turned into a giant fly. Like I said, unexplainable. This is classic Jeff Lemire at his best, drawing and writing, creating world and characters we can't help but become invested in. Entering the top 10, beginning with Green Lantern. Sometimes a change in creative teams is all that's needed to reinvigorate a character or series. Jeremy Adams and Zermonico are a testament to that, making Hal Jordan cool again and setting this series up for success for as long as DC will allow it. Number 9, The Sacrificers, a spectacularly rendered comic book that demands your attention from the moment you open the first page. An entire race of humanoids live in peace as long as they follow the rules of sacrificing one of their young ones to the gods. These sacrifices keep the gods looking young. Everyone's happy, right? Wrong. A book full of tragedy and intrigue. You've got to check this one out from Rick Remender. Number 8, Detective Comics, Rom V showed us that he can write Batman at the highest level. Taking Bats to the gallows, ultimately being saved by Selina, is a journey I will take over and over again in this Batman ongoing series. At number 7, Ice Cream Man. A book that began as a horror comic about an evil ice cream man has evolved into a book about the intricacies of humanity, the highs, the lows, and how we deal with trauma, loss, and joy. Each issue can be enjoyed on its own, but you should just read them all. At number 6, Dream Master, one of the most underrated and underappreciated comics of the entire year. This book is about the protector of dreams and his fight to save humanity from the dark witch that seeks to enter and conquer reality through people's dreams. But the Dream Master is burdened with his own pains of the past. How long can he continue to protect humanity and protect himself? Fans of the Sandman, this is your jam. Entering the top five with You've Been Cancelled. What if, in the not-so-distant future, you're found to be cancel-worthy? Instead of being shunned by society, you find yourself on an episode of You've Been Cancelled, a stream that televises the murder of those fit for cancellation. A humorous and insightful look into the implications and dangers of a cancel culture gone too far. At number four, Night Fever. The story of a middle-aged man with a typical middle-aged job and the desire to spark his life with something new. When his job takes him out of the country, he lives like he's got nothing to lose, only to come full circle and want nothing more than to get back to his wife by the end of this one. Brew Baker and Phillips do not miss. That is a guarantee. At number three, I Am Stan, an in-depth look into the entire life of Stan Lee. Told from an unbiased perspective, this graphic novel covers the good, the bad, and the ugly. Tom Scioli committed himself to a tremendous amount of research to make this book happen, and he drew it all. If you're a fan of the history of comics, this is a must read. At number two, Swan Songs, a comic about the end of things, the end of the world, the end of a marriage, the end of a prison sentence. Written by the creator of Ice Cream Man, W. Maxwell Prince brings the same tone and quality to Swan Songs, an exploration of humanity in its darkest and most fragile moments. To humanity, read this comic, y'all. At number one, Traveling to Mars. 
Roy Livingston has a terminal illness, which makes him a prime candidate to take a trip to Mars and claim it for a dying Earth who has squandered its resources. But where this story shines is Roy's solo trip to space, alone with his thoughts, reflecting on the joys, the pains, and regrets of his entire life. Love had, love lost, and everything in between, this comic is about finding the meaning of life in a person's final days. Traveling to Mars, my favorite comic series of 2023. And those are my top 25 comics of 2023. What were some of your favorite books in 2023? And which on the list are you going to check out? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure you watch my top three comics of the week video every Thursday morning at 8.15 a.m. Central Standard Time to keep up to date with the best new comics this year. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay lost in comics, my friends.